it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the Great Big Card Swap. I am so excited that you are joining. Today I've got 55 plus. I think it's like 58 or something like that. I've got 50 more than 55 cards to share with you tonight and they are all fun folds that is the theme right now in august we are doing part two and if you missed part one you definitely have to go check that out watch the replay over there 65 different cards that were fun folds these were so fun to open up and you guys are going to love them i know you're going to be so inspired one of my very favorite parts of the great big card swap is all the encouraging words that you leave each other in the comments so please be sure to leave lots of comments because i know <laughs> that it takes a lot sometimes to um to share your art with the world so thank you to everyone who sent in a card um i know that you are inspiring so many others even uh even if they don't leave a comment and say i know there's so many more people that are watching than those that leave comments and so um just know that your cards really do make a difference and inspire all of us whether whether <laughs> you see the comments or not um, all right, so I said uh, August theme is um, fun folds, but this is the second part of the showcase. So if you're sending in cards for September or October, you're going to want to switch gears and send in different themed cards. In September, our theme is trees. It's sort of a different take on fall, <laughs> but it could be winter trees, palm trees, whatever you want. Trees, leaves, things you find on trees like cherries. I don't know. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And October is going to be thank you or gratitude. So I'm looking forward to seeing the cards that you share. Um, if you've not participated before, first of all, welcome. We're so glad that you're here and joining us. Um, we've been doing the great big card swap now for over two years, and it's pretty simple. You send in a card. Um, I share them all in the video. I mix them up, and then I send them back. Everybody who sends a card gets one back in the mail, and that happens by the postage stamp that you're going to include in your card. Just a loose postage stamp. If you have a card that requires extra postage, then include a non-machinable stamp. If you're an international stamper, um, you're going to want to use the PayPal button in the video description, which will um, purchase global stamps that I can use to send the cards back to you. Um, what else? I think that's it. Keep the card blank, meaning don't write inside. You can in, you can include a sticky note or a note if you are looking for a new swap buddy. Um, I love that you guys have connected like that. It's just so much fun to see that. So you you can put a loose note in there or a sticky note and say hello or not. It's totally optional. Um, I think that's it. Send your cards to Julie Davis in P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. All of this information is in the video description, so you can check that out by clicking on more or the little arrow, I think, also, we'll open up that section. Oh, Donna, I'm so glad you guys are all watching. I've got your cards at the very end and another group of sister stampers um, to share today. I'm really excited about that. So let's just dig right in. Are you guys ready to see these amazing cards? I've tried already to add some links to the video description for you. Um, but I, if I... If I have a video tutorial for a similar card, I've added the link. Not all of them I have tutorials for. Some of them I'm inspired to try after I see you guys share them. So, um, happy to be here with you. Hello, Becky. So glad you're here. Our first card comes from Sharon Gross. She said she was inspired by Gina K. And I don't think I've ever seen a card quite like this. It is so beautiful. Um, inked. What was, the, what was the name of this designer paper? Inked Expressions? Expressions and Ink. That was the paper pumpkin kit. Oh, this paper is so beautiful. It looks like um, alcohol ink. I love it so much. So beautiful. And this great die cut. And I don't know if you notice back here, we have a weaved paper that kind of looks like a lattice. I think it's so beautiful. Sharon, thank you so much for sharing this gorgeous card. And thank you for that special gift that you sent to Claire. She was so tickled. Oh, I thought I had a plastic tub here. Um, oh, I have it behind me. I need something to catch the cards. 
on the other side. Otherwise, it's just a big mess. <laughs> it's just a big mess on my desk. That doesn't work. Our next card is from Jennifer Olson. How beautiful is this with the Dainty Flowers designer paper and a gorgeous embossing folder. I love the detailed dies from Dainty Delight. And Something Fancy is the name of that stamp set. Here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever after. So fun, so beautiful. You know, a fun fold doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to have, you know, all kinds of cuts and folds and stuff, but um, sometimes it does. Like this card from AMT, she sent an extra one for me. Actually, I have it right here. I'm gonna pull it in because it's slightly different. And I don't know, which, which color do you guys like? The crumb cake or the soft suede? I have some measurements here, so let me, let me move these over. Um, so she said she um, cased this from Beth McCullough, stampingmom.com, original design fence card. I'm going to pause it here for a second so you can take a screenshot with the measurements. Thank you so much, AMT, for including those. Oh my gosh. So it looks like you kind of open it up and you're cutting these slits and then this piece comes across. I love that little detail of the wood grain. This is from the Cheerful Daisies bundle and then some inked embossing folder back there with a brick. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Amazing. AMT, thank you so much for sending an extra for me. I'm so excited to have this beautiful card and I know whoever gets it is going to be so happy to have it as well. Oh my gosh, all the cards are so beautiful tonight. This little birdie, oh my gosh. This is just so stinking cute from Belinda Bosch. Um, Bird's Eye View stamp set and the Biggest Wish stamp set with a happy, happy, happy. I love the sponging around our little bird with a cute oversized glasses. And this is an easel card. Now we have talked about easel cards lately. I think I had one in uh, the August bonus project kit, July bonus project kit. Um, so an easel card, the, uh, the main element on an easel card is something inside on dimensionals to prop up the front. And so that's what's going on here. So this is one way to do an easel card. Um, you can also do it kind of the other way with something down here to prop it up. I love that plaid there. Um, here is another kind of version of an easel card. This one from Ann Telecki. She said she cased this quad easel fun fold from Lena Cursa, um, who cased it from her team member, Barb Pepper. So again, with the idea of a fun fold needing something to prop up against, we've got these diagonal folds, and there's four of them. So they fold diagonally and prop up on the banner. Isn't that cool? I've seen I've seen some of these where we have different um, different layers, maybe three panels. I have not seen a quad one like this though. This is pretty cool. Uh, these are all pieces from the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More card pack, and then we've got those cute little die cut banners and the three D Basics embossing folder. Really fun! What a great card, right? Uh, on the inside, some more stamping from the Circle Sings. All right, here's another take on the easel card. This is the Bay Window card from Christine Almond. She is the Beauty Abound stamp set and this gorgeous A Wash with Beauty designer paper. I'm gonna move her little paper here. Now this piece is on dimensionals and so the Bay Window is kind of like, <clears throat> uh, kind of like a easel card because it's gonna kind of tuck in behind that part on Stampin' Dimensionals, and it looks like a bay window. That's how it gets that name. Uh, Mom shared a version of this in a recent Sunday stamping video. You may have seen that. Such a, such a fun way to show off some different panels of the designer paper. This is so beautiful. I love it. And Christine, I know sometimes, um, I know sometimes color is not, <laughs> is not your thing, but I, I was so impressed here. Um, inspiration, love to create Joanne Hewins. Hopefully I'm saying that right, bay window card. I know I've seen um, several different people um, share tutorials for that, really cool. <clears throat> okay, that was it for the easel card. This is a bridge card. Have you guys seen this? I know I have, um, I'm gonna move this camera down just a little bit. <clears throat> um, I've shared a few different versions over the years. So fun. We had one in a recent swap video that was a monkey upside down and the tree was here and the monkey was hanging down. This one uses this gorgeous birthday cake stamp set. Um, happy birthday to you is the name of the stamp set. This is from Stacy. 
Mikalski. Hopefully I'm saying that right. First time swapping. So glad that you're joining us, Stacy. This card is so beautiful. I love the way you colored these flowers and the silver foil back there behind the middle is just the perfect little touch on this celebratory card. I think this would be so beautiful also for a, a wedding or an anniversary as well with that gorgeous cake and flowers. So gorgeous. Thank you so much, Stacy. All right. This is, I don't know, some of them didn't have a very good, <laughs> some of them don't have very good sections. Some of them I kind of lumped together. Or I put similar fun folds together. This one just kind of stands out. It's kind of like a double Z fold because you have a Z here and you have a Z here, but this one is special because it has a pop-up. <laughs> this is called a wiper card. And I've shared a couple different versions of this uh, with the whale punch and also one with the ladybug punch. And I've put the link in the video description. So if you want to check that out, make sure to. I have to tell you, this card is pretty simple in its concept, but it took me a little trial and error to get the hang of it. In fact, when I did the video tutorial, I think I filmed it like five different times because I kept messing up. Um, so once you follow along and watch, it's really not that hard, but it is such a fun card to make and such a fun card to send to. Wiper card, that's what this one is called because it looks like a wiper blade coming up. So fun. This is with the Zoo Crew um, designer paper. And did I say who's, who made that one? Yes, Judy Balmer. Judy, wow. <laughs> I am so impressed and I absolutely love your take on the wiper card. So much fun. All right, next up a card from Marie. Oh, oh no. I'm so sorry. I I usually put um I usually put a little privacy panel over the address and somehow that got left off. Marie Ferrito made this one. This is a diorama card. And um, this is a little bit bigger than um, the size that I've used. I think she said she was inspired by um, Jennifer McGuire. Um, but I've made a similar diorama card. And so I do have my measurements in the video description. Not my measurements. A link to my tutorial in the video description if you want to check it out. Um, it is so much fun. It does fold flat to fit inside a regular size envelope. Uh, this one uses the the love snail. Um, he was a, it was a Valentine set. So cute. I love the little toadstools and the die cuts in there. Really fun. It just offers some depth and dimension. Such a great card. Speaking of depth and dimension, this one is really cool from Suzanne Raditz. Um, this is the horizontal curtain call uh, or ca curtain call card by Susan Campfield. Um, and so it has these panels that come out like this. This is so beautiful. I love this paper. Um, this is the, um, mm -mm -mm. oh my goodness. We just used it for creativity now last year and it was all in the clearance rack. It probably still is. What is, I'm, oh, someone you will tell me. <laughs> I love how it opens up here and then you've got these pieces that come in, like a little curtain call. I think that's really fun. Um, and for the life of me, I just cannot think of this designer paper and this bundle. It's on the tip. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, okay, Suzanne, I saw your little note inside and I think your card was sent at the beginning of August and you were asking about the duplicate cards, uh, getting a swap card from me for the card that you sent in June. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that you got it. I did send out all the duplicate cards. It did take me a little while because there were a lot of them. Um, but if you sent two cards in June, um, then and the, and the, the theme in June was new catalog. If you sent uh, if you sent two cards in June, you should have received one back from me in addition to the swap card. Um, so if you didn't get a card from me and you sent a second one, please um, send me a message and let me know. But they did all get sent out. So Suzanne, hopefully you've received it. Um, all right, I was just gonna check and see if anyone had the, um, no. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy until I figure out what the name of this designer paper was. All right, moving along, we do have such amazing cards. Oh my gosh, you guys have just, you've really blown me like out of the water because I'm seeing so many cards that I've not ever seen before. This next one is another example of that. This is from Maya Galantine, and she said that she uh, used some old and new stuff. Uh, 
Current, yeah, current and retired. Splendid day, Donna. Thank you so much. Splendid day. What's the name of that designer paper? This designer paper is called Le Shop, and it is new in the annual catalog. And I don't know what this card is called, but this is pretty cool. It has these panels that tuck under, so they it folds flat, and then they come out. And it, it just kind of has like a fun dimension to it. Um, is there a name for this card? There's a panel on the back, so you can write your message back there. I think that's really cool. I've not quite seen one like this before. And then they just tuck under there like that. So cool. Thank you so much, Maya, for inspiring us with your amazing card. Now, here's one that's pretty cool, and I have seen one like this, but it's been a while. Uh, thank you, Catherine. She says this one is called Gullwing um, card. I guess like a seagull. Gullwing. Oh, yeah, I see it there. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, this one is got a slide to open. This is from Nareda Hernandez, and she used the Hey Chuck um, stamps out with the die cuts rise and shine and so you're gonna slide our little rooster over to open up that side of the card isn't that cool I thought that was really kind of fun so the slider is two circles stuck together with some stamp dimensionals and it slides back and forth on the track and so when the card is closed that's oh, such a great job coloring so beautiful when the card is ready to close, you're gonna slide it and it will lock the card, so to speak. <laughs> um, but you might wanna put a little note on there to whoever gets your card because they might not know that they gotta slide it to open it. I think that is just so much fun, so pretty, and you did such a great job coloring. I always feel so intimidated. Um, and you guys make it look so easy. <laughs> this next one is from uh, Christine O'Malley. She said the stamps are from Technique Junkies. I thought this was so fun. Remember, if you can't say something nice, make it funny. <laughs> oh, this card makes me smile and laugh. I love it. Just a, a little fun fold. This piece cut from this side and turn to the side for the, sent the sentiment and just a fun way to kind of mix up the card and make something a little bit different. I like that. Thanks, Chris, for sending in that fun card. This one just arrived today from Alora Weaver. Thank you so much for sending an extra one for me. This uses a bunch of stamp sets. Uh, we've got the, um, Oh my gosh, I'm just not remembering stamp set names today. Uh, the, <laughs> the pizza set. This is from the designer paper, Delightfully Eclectic. And then the Brood for You, I think maybe is the name of that. But check out this fun fold when you open it up. Oh, so cool. We saw one of these last time and I was thinking, I really got to make one. And so it is on my list. I really got to make one. Um, it doesn't look like it's that hard. It looks like it's just a regular piece of white cardstock on the middle and folded kind of at some different angles. I'd say about probably two inches, two inches. Um, so we'll definitely have to give this one a try and make it in an upcoming video. I love that little pop out. It's just so fun. Thank you so much, Laura, for sending an extra for me. I'm excited to have one to check out and look at. Now, this one is from Mesa Sama. She said she saw this shortcut for the never ending card from Connie Stewart, um, where you stamp on the cardstock instead of using little pieces of designer paper here. Now, have you guys seen the never ending card? This is so cool. I'm gonna see if I can try to show it in a way where it makes sense. So you've got these pieces that are, um, are scored so this is um what is that two two and three quarters by four scored at one and two or one and three so you've got one inch and two inch in the middle okay so four of those and they are well no two of those one two and then the other ones are the long way <laughs> uh, but they're they're attached only in the corners okay so here you go this is how you open the never ending card you are a pearl rare and precious and you just keep going because it's the card that never ends 
<laughs> oh, it goes on and on, my friend. I do have a tutorial to make this one. So if you're interested in learning how to make the card that never ends, then be sure to check that link out in the video description so you can see how to make the card that never ends. But it is really simple. You just have the two pieces here and the two long pieces here, and then you stick them together. Hi, Susan. So glad you're joining us. I don't know. You missed maybe 10, 15 cards, but we've got 55 to share tonight. So there are plenty more to come. Our next two cards are a similar style. These are called Spanner Panel Cards. The first one is from Deb Rupp using the Trucking Along Bundle, a new one from uh, the online exclusive offering with Oceanfront in the background. Such a fun card. I love how it kind of has um, this panel that spans across the, um, the card front and then sort of like an extra little thing to open. I love that she stamped on the inside too. So awesome. A little note inside from Deb. If you want to be card pals with Deb, you can send her a little card. Next up from Mary Jane Martinez, a similar style here with a spanner panel. This is using the Hey Chick stamp set. Hey Chick was the um, precursor to Hey Chuck and it has some um, fun chickens. I love the <laughs> little chicken feet all over and it had the sentiment hey chick originally a celebration stamp set was brought back when they did a hey birthday chick sequel and now we have part three hey chuck with the roosters a little fun fact there how many of those stamp sets do you have <laughs> our next card is from um, dixie van shake and she made this card i'm not sure what um this one is called i call it like an extended z fold kind of it, has an accordion with a smaller sort of three by three card that is in the middle. So beautiful. This is that Splendid Day designer paper, a little bit more of it. It had the beautiful foil. And then we have the, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not remembering stamp set names today. <laughs> That's okay. A gorgeous floral there, two step. It was, um, oh my gosh, it went with paper and it was like, um, oil painting paper. Oh, art gallery. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I kept thinking it was art something. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of help tonight. Thank you guys so much for, <laughs> for jumping in with names. This one is kind of similar in that it has like accordions. This is Tony Shaw's take on what I'm calling the big Z little Z card. Essentially, it's a double Z card. There are um, two cards that are three inch panels, three inch panels, a small one and a big one. This one uses the delightfully eclectic designer paper and the fun stamp set called Just My Type or You're My Type, something like that. So fun. I love how this designer paper goes so well with that typewriter. And these colors are really beautiful together. Lemon Lolly and Pretty Peacock. Tony, thanks so much for sharing your version of this card. I've got a link in the video tutorial to the one that I did using the Hey Chuck stamp set. I did a Sunday stamping video a couple weeks ago with mom and I shared the measurements for this and how I made it using the Hey Chuck bundle. And I had a little stamp class at my house and we made a different version. I didn't have enough gingham paper for everybody to do this one. So we used the same Chuck design and we created Created this one with an opening up and then out, which is kind of similar to the card I shared uh, for day one of the 12 days of Christmas with the accordion, except most of that accordion is covered up by the designer paper. So there's a window and then it folds out. <laughs> so this is one horse open slate paper. This is Hey Chuck. And I have another version of this kind of fun fold design to share with you and it is from Melissa Perry. It, you, oh my gosh, this paper is so gorgeous. Lashar was helping me sort out cards from the last one and someone had stamped the designer paper. Uh, they they stamped their own designer paper and Shar was like, I, I don't recognize this paper. <laughs> I told her it was stamped and it blew her mind. Well, Melissa always creates the most gorgeous designer paper patterns. This is totally stamped, 100% made by Melissa. 
Um, I recognize some of the stamp sets, but Melissa, you'll have to maybe tell us which ones. Um, flowers at Friendship. Um, uh, friendship. Oh, what is it called? Flowers of Friendship? Friendship. Um, oh, my goodness. It's right again on the tip of my tongue. It's so beautiful here. I just love this. And the stamping on the inside. I just, like, Melissa, I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I wish that I thank you so much, Sherry, for blocking him. <laughs> and thank you, Sharon, for reporting. Okay, another similar card. This one is from Wendy Langseth. And she said she was inspired by Jamie on Pinterest using the tea boutique. I have to bring this back in because I put them kind of together. Isn't this really cool how they look so similar in their colors, but totally they were not like stamping together at all. Even the same kind of hexagon shape. I just thought that was so amazing so much fun this one's a little bit different though this one we had the z fold on the inside oh, let me get out of there there we go z fold on the inside and this one is a gate fold on the inside so it opens up with the window in the same way and then it has a gate fold oh i thought this was so cool i love this little take on it and i'm definitely gonna have to try a gate fold on the inside of my card like that i'm loving this t boutique is retired designer paper so fun this is from wendy langsa so thank you so much wendy and i don't know whose little flower got stuck under <laughs> stuck under there oh i bet I feel like I recognize that card. I'm going to leave it leave it over here. Maybe we'll find the card and we'll stick it back on. Um, so amazing. So fantastic. Our next set of cards are um, sidestep cards or center step cards. And we've seen this um, a few times, especially in our last fun fold swap video. Um, this first one is from Pat Nimmo, and she used the easy, what I call the easy sidestep card. So you have a panel um, that comes up here and it tucks behind, and she's covered it with the white cardstock. I love that. I put my white cardstock on the inside. Um, but this one is sort of the easy version with a second panel, whereas this one has the fancy cutting of the original original sidestep card design. This is from um, Kathy Bradley. And so the original sidestep card, which I demonstrated recently, uh, I think it was on Thursday night. Um, it has some cutting and some scoring. This is all one sheet of cardstock. And then you create these, um, the depths and the stairs. So this one has the additional attachment, but a similar kind of look as the, um, <laughs> as the, the sidestep card. Um, I am, there we go. Okay. Hopefully, um, hopefully that worked. I tried to, tried to hide our, um, <laughs> our noisy, our noisy friend tonight. Um, all right. The next similar card is, um, the center step card. So this one is by D. Chamberlain, and it is sort of the, the same kind of thing where you have one sheet of cardstock and there's fancy cutting and scoring, and then you get this like the step. So when you when you have the card upright like that, it has these kind of side steps back, but the center, this is called the center step because the big step is in the center, whereas these are on the side. So these are the side step and this is center step. And I've got a couple links in the video um, tutorial, so you can check that out if you haven't um seen this yet so you can try the center step card i am trying to figure out if this one goes here nope it looks like it's similar but not quite we're still on the hunt for the card that's missing that flower thank you to our side and center step card swappers such a fun layout if you haven't tried it before Oh, this one's cool. This is from Teresa Strickland. She said this is the Tri Shutter card. She used the Geared Up Garage stamp set in classic garage designer paper. Oh, so fun. Oh my gosh. I've made a couple different versions over the years and I have one of them linked up in the video description. This is called a Tri Shutter card because it has three different panels and then like these shutters that kind of go inside really really fun oh my gosh if you haven't made one like this it's kind of like I grouped it together because it's kind of like those side step and center step cards where you have one sheet of cardstock that has then special cutting and scoring to create that 
um, that effect of the different um, different layers and levels. I know, so many fun fold cards. You guys really knocked it out of the park. Our next one is the Impossible card. We had another one last time. This one's from Jerry Rouser. And believe it or not, the, the, um, the Impossible card is made from one sheet of cardstock. And then this is sort of a... Um, a stabilizer piece but this this part is this and this so like you do like this weird twisting and that's why it's called the impossible card because it looks impossible but it is just one sheet of cardstock with the addition of the stabilizing piece this one uses the pansy patch designer paper and it does fold flat so it fits in a regular envelope to mail so much fun and probably only a card maker would really appreciate the impossibility of <laughs> this fun fold card. The next two cards are similar. I think they might use slightly different um, measurements, but I thought I would share them together anyway. This one's from Judy Howard. She said she was inspired by Patty Bennett. It's a two, four, six, eight card. You're using designer paper. Um, and so the measurement for the designer paper is five and a quarter inch by um, 12 inches and you are scoring at two, four, six, and eight. And so you have this collapse. It's kind of like that other card where we had then a card that bridged the middle. Um, this is all from designer paper. I guess the other side is hidden. So fun though. We've got the playing in the rain stamp set and the biggest wish with the hello friend. I love these colors. So bright and cheery and fun. Judy, thank you so much for sure sharing this awesome card. This one is kind of similar. This one is from Debbie Bustle, and she said she was inspired by Janet Wakeland, um, and it has a kind of a similar fold with the designer paper. So the designer paper on the base, and then some different size accordions here. They're not two, two, two like the other one, um, but this one uses that Hey Birthday Piggy. It's so cute. We had a Hey Birthday Chick and Hey Birthday Piggy. I just love the little scooter. This one was in the clearance rack for a while. I'm not sure if it still is, but if you want the measurements for cutting this one, it's right here, five and a half by 12 inches for the designer paper and score at one and three quarters, four and three quarters and seven and three quarters. So beautiful. Thank you both for sharing that awesome kind of accordion fun fold card, a great way to use designer paper. Our next card is from Alita Williams and she uses this fun Valentine paper. Um, with a cute little stamp set from the annual catalog, and I don't think I know the name, so I would never remember it. <laughs> We've got a tie here, and then it opens and opens. So you got like a little flap, and then the bigger one here. I love that fun fold. I've not made a card like that before, so I was so happy to see yours. And I, <laughs> I waited. I, I got it, but I waited to do the bow because I thought if I can't retie it, at least it looked pretty. <laughs> at the beginning um let's see if I can get it to look pretty again hey not bad it's so cute Alita if you remember the name of this team so just leave a comment in the video description for us it's such a fun one it's got some cute little kids and um I'm trying to remember the other sentiments it's sort of like I'm here for you kind of thing Oh, speaking of cute, check out this little monkey from Quinn Fong. This one is a fold, I'm calling it a fold back card. Um, I don't know if it has another name, but I shared a card like this using the daisies and I've got that linked in the video description. It has a belly band and then it has this sort of fold back. That's why I'm calling it a fold back because it has a, these pieces that fold back. But look inside. I think this is so cute with a little monkey swinging. I'm bananas about you. I love the fern embossing folder and that tropical designer paper. It is so perfect with this card. Granny Apple Green and Pecan Pie are new medium brown color. This is just so stinking cute. I <laughs> I absolutely love it. We got room. Nope, not Qu Sorry, Quinn. I was going to say we got room on the back, but that was the other card. We got room right here to write our message. Quinn, this is such an amazing card. Thank you so much for sending this one in and sharing it. I know someone's going to be so delighted to get that. Quinn Fong. All right, our next card is a slimline card. This is so fun. A first time swapper. And this is sort of the same concept with the fold back. This is um, by Kathy Pirin. 
and she said she learned this from her upline, Connie Stewart. It is a slimline fun fold. So we got a belly band just like the other one. And then we have sort of this accordion fold out. I love that. This designer paper is um, uh, Design a Daydream. It was a host paper pack a couple catalogs ago and so pretty with some of these colors, Blackberry Bliss and Petal Pink. And then the sentiment, Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way, is called Good Feelings. It's one of my favorite stamp sets in the annual catalog. Thank you so much, Kathy, for sending in your card. I'm so excited that you are joining us for the great big card swap. We've got more cards. We've got so many cards. <laughs> this next one is oh, from Veronica Tall. She said uh, she and her husband just celebrated their 38th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. She was inspired to make a wedding card in their wedding colors of pink, gray, and white. So here is Veronica's arrow flap gatefold card. Oh, I love this on the inside. Love and laughter forever after. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that little shiny gel pen on the inside too. What a beautiful card. Happy anniversary, Veronica. Thank you so much for sharing your fun fold with us. I love so much that you use your wedding colors and and we're inspired by your anniversary. Okay, um, nope, this one isn't connected. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could loop them together. This next card is from Tracy Bazemore. She was inspired in Case's card from Dina Rico using, Rico using the God Fishing Creativity um, card kit. So we've got this one, so fun, and it has a pop-up. There's a little matching envelope in there, but let me show you the pop-up. This is a really kind of easy way to do a pop-up is doing like a little cutout or doing like a little square and that is going to hold the pop-up piece. This one made to look like a tackle box. Wow, so fun. This one uses the same concept. It's from Kathy Heyman and it has the same little square pop-up but just on a smaller scale. So this is a diamond pop-up card, but I just wanted to show you how that kind of mechanism can be used for little pop-ups or big pop-ups. You can use whatever you want and create fun pop-ups just by creating that little square with a pop-up. So thank you so much to Tracy for her um, Gone Fishing Tackle Box card and this one from Kathy Heyman using um, this gorgeous design designer paper, Fancy Floral, um, and the Diamond Pop-Up card. Gorgeous. Oh, let's see. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> this one. Oh, I did another. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how I missed Marie's cards. Um, another privacy panel. Okay, Marie Ferrito made this one a floating gatefold card. I think in the video description, I called it a double pop-up or a corner gatefold, double corner gatefold card. Essentially, you've got the same mechanisms here, the little squares that are connected to the gatefold pieces that are opening up. So it opens up and you get those pop-ups on the sides instead of like in the center. But it's the same kind of concept as the other ones that we just looked at. There's just two of them because there's two different folds, one on each side. Oh, this was such a fun stamp set with the coordinating um, punch. And I loved the sentiments. Hello, beautiful. The good things in life are better with you. Isn't this pretty with a black and white floral? Um, so we got botanical butterfly designer paper with a butterfly punch, butterfly gala stamp set. Yes. Layering square framelits, stitch shape framelits, framelit oval collection. We got it all on here. Beautiful. Our butterfly beauty thinlet dies inspired by, um, a Jan, oh, Jan B YouTube video from um, August 2020. But I've got a link in the video description to my version using the Turtle and Friends. You can check that out. It's the same kind of, same concept with the pop-ups. I've been meaning to try this one again. So I'm excited to see your card, Marie. And I feel so inspired um, to try that one. Oh, speaking of cards, I want to try again. This one from Kelly Sheridan reminded me of a card I did in the spring with the By the Bay designer paper. We've got a little belly band and a gatefold card. So again, the gatefold has the um, 
the card that folds from the sides and meets in the middle. This one though, when you open it up, has a shutter <laughs> with a secret message inside. These shutters are a lot easier than they look. You've got a flat piece that is um, attached to the side of the gatefold. So just like the pop-up, when you open that up, it pulls and brings that piece open. Oh, if it doesn't make sense, make sure to check out the video uh, linked up in the video description. In fact, I tried to link the tutorials um, in the video description in the order that I am sharing the cards. So if you're looking for one from the beginning of the video, it's at the top of the list. The, the links at the end of the list are from later on in the box towards the end of the video. Uh, Bottled with Happiness is the stamp set here. Great colors with the Parakeet Party um, or Lemon Lime Twist. I get those mixed up. Pretty Peacock and Bubble Bath. Oh, so beautiful. Here's one that is fun. I've not seen one quite like this before. This is from Sherry Werner, and it is kind of like um, a gatefold card. You can kind of see the gatefold there, but when you pull on the sides, we also have these panels that come from either direction, so they kind of lock together and they pull apart. So this is a really fun gatefold card, a double gatefold maybe, using the biggest wish stamp set for the sentiments. Thanks friends. And the designer paper is the Hues of Happiness designer paper that was in the catalog last year. These colors are great together. Gorgeous grape with pool party and some retired mango melody. Really beautiful. All right, these two were similar, so I put them together. They even both use the thick white cardstock for the card base. This one is from Sandy Allman from Canada. And let's see, I think she's got a note in here. She was inspired by Terry Gaines. Um, first time she tried the folds. Um, oh, and yes, I absolutely love the cheerful daisy designer paper. Let me see if the name of the card's on this one too. Crisscross panel fun fold card. This one's from Rosemary McDo McDougal. She was also inspired by Terry Gaines. So this is called the Crisscross panel fun fold card. And so it's kind of the similar concept where we've got like this, this gate, a smaller gate though, and then these two panels that cross. So sort of like Sherry's card with the panels that cross, but these aren't quite as tight. And we've got the smaller one and then the larger one. So it opens up like this. And then on the inside, oh, so beautiful, boho blue. I really love this kind of design. I've not seen this before. So thank you both uh, Sandy and Rosemary for sharing this crisscross panel card. Is that what it was called, Chris? Yes, crisscross panel card from Terry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness, I just love that embossing folder here, um, something meadow. And the, I recognize the stamps and the designer paper, but I, I cannot remember, it was too long ago. <laughs> oh, such beautiful cards. Thank you both for the inspiration on this new fold. I'm gonna have to give this one a try. Crisscross panel card. All right, another kind of gatefold card. This one is from Kathy King, and we've got a little belly band with that um, cute little butterfly, and then the gatefold comes out like that. So fun, I love, it's like a gatefold, but also like a fold back, like a fold back gatefold card. I think it's really cool. So many different ways that you can dress up your card by just changing up the fold and just kind of doing something a little fun and unexpected. Thank you so much, Kathy, for sharing this one. Uh, the next one I've got two versions of, a little this or that. I think that I get to keep one. This is from Kim, uh, oh, Kim Winkle and Kim, um, girl, I need your address. <laughs> um, both the envelopes that you sent did not have a return address. And so if you would like me to send a card back to you, you're going to have to send me a message with your address because otherwise I have no idea where to send your card. <laughs> um, make sure you either have a return address on your envelope or that you're putting your return address in a note inside. Okay. So this is a fun card. She's got the measurements here. Um, it has a designer paper, kind of a designer paper card base and there is like a little flap here and then this is a pocket where you can put a gift card so there's kind of a fun flap on the front and then a card on the inside this one uses the countryside in designer paper and the countryside corner dies and then this one is 
um, also from Kim. <laughs> I was looking, I don't know, looking at the back. This is the um, Rings of Love designer paper. That was a celebration gift last year. So the gift card pocket here that you can put your card or gift in. And then I just love those little butterflies and the die cut. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. That is from um, Charming Sentiments. I love that. Oh, I like on the inside how it has the mint macaron cardstock instead of white. I think it looks really great against that designer paper. Thank you so much for sending the measurements and for sending an extra card for me. Kim, make sure you send me a message with your address. Don't put it in the don't put it in the comments. Just send me an email. You can even send me a text. I feel like my information is kind of all over the place, including the video description. Um, so make sure to send me your address so I can get that back to you. Um, all right, the next two cards are um, double Z-fold cards. This first one is from Barbara McHouston, and she's using the Trucking Along stamp set with a little bit of um, Countryside Inn designer paper. The double Z-fold card is just as it sounds. There's a Z and another Z, and then one attaches to the other. I love the colors here. Blueberry bushel, um, and nice job with the trees. I love this this little stamp set. I can't wait to play with it some more. Here's another double Z fold from Joanne Stein using the Playing in the Rain designer paper. A cute little piggy and I love the UV coating on that. So shimmery. Oh my gosh, such great cards. Both of them using the same measurements for the double Z fold. And if you haven't made a card like this, be sure to check out the link in the video description so you can see the measurements that I used. You can make your, your um, second Z a little smaller or a little wider. It doesn't, um, it doesn't matter as long as they um, line up and match like that. So great. I think our next few cards are what I'm calling like a double flap card um, because they have kind of uh, different, different flaps. Now, this is that designer paper, isn't it? But I don't see where this might have fallen off of here. I just don't know where that little one came from. <gasps> it's the next card. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> um, so we got a double flap. So uh, the little mini card and then the flap folds from the side. So we kind of flap, flap, double flap card. This one is from Melinda DeRuin using the Tea Boutique designer paper and the Flower Shop stamp set with the Pansy Punch. Oh my gosh, that's an oldie but a goodie. I remember that. Such a fun card. These colors are the best too. Um, so we've got kind of similar concept here with a flap and a flap, a double flap card. This one is from Lynn Werner. Um, she said she cases from Pinterest and loved the look, had this older designer paper and really liked how it went with the layout. This looks like, um, oh, these trees. Mm, it's like right at the tip of my tongue. I, rec I kind of recognize the tree. The stamp, Thinking of You with All My Heart, one of my favorites, Peaceful Moments stamp set. I think it's still in the catalog. Um, such a great assortment of sentiments. And these colors are really amazing together. Some pool party, a little Bermuda Bay in there, and the basic gray. Really gorgeous. I love that designer paper. And how you customize the inside. A similar layout here. On this one, the, the circle, the element is glued to the left panel. So the right panel kind of slides underneath it. On this one, that is attached to the right panel. So it just opens up straight like that. This card is from Ann Link using the Eden's Garden designer paper. So fun. So on both of these, that little, the right flap is tucked underneath the, um, the inside layer, the white layer. Um, so that you can't see it on the back. So you can kind of tuck that under. Double flap card. I think, maybe I forgot to, no, I think I do have a link in the video description for that. Um, next up, another kind of double flap. This one's from Katie McLean using the Cheerful Daisy designer paper. She said this was from uh, a card kit by Leanne Breff. So she's using um, the copper clay and the boho blue with that gorgeous Cheerful Daisy designer paper. So you got the same kind of thing, a little flap here, and then uh, the flap that goes up. I love that. What a fun way to open a card. All right, here's the card where our little flower came off of. I see it's got another one that's cut, so it must be from this one. I was trying to see if there was any kind of adhesive. 
Let's see whose card this is. Pat Stewart, yay, look at all those goodies. Oh my gosh, Pat, you are so sweet always to include such fun things. If you're watching Pat, you can tell me where this little flower should go. I was trying to figure out. I kind of like it up there, but if Pat says something different, I'll stick it wherever she wants it. Um, so fun. This is that T Boutique designer paper, some marble paper here. Hello, you are so loved with all the little goodies in the background. Thank you so much, Pat. I love that little pocket. What a great place to like just tuck little things like that or a little gift card so fun all right we've got another this or that right here this one is from karen fletcher and um she sent two different versions so i get to keep one how fun a little christmas in july and august <laughs> she's got the measurements here so i'm going to pull this out for you it's a double diamond fold and um see how how well we can see this the base is um, 4 by 10 and score based on the template so whoever gets this card will be able to see this a little more up close um, but it's essentially a card like this and then it's got this like this is so cool <laughs> this fancy folding I've never made one like this before kind of feel like it looks like one of those fortune tellers that we used to play with you know when you're younger you fold that paper up. Um, so the center panel is two and five eighths by two and five eight, five eighths basic white. That would be this. Um, and then the solid color or the designer paper pieces there. Oh my gosh, I just love that. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Karen, for including the measurements and also for um, sending an extra for me. So this or that, if you could choose one of these, to keep for yourself which of these diamond uh, these double diamond fold cards would you keep if you if you were me and you got to choose one <laughs> so fun i love the little um technique too on the um the, is it just glitter paper it might just be glitter paper she just stamped and die cut the um the snowman on the glitter paper i think that's so fun oh such a hard choice they're both so beautiful I do love the blue with the red though. That's really pretty. Okay, I think our next, nope, we got we got one more. And then we've got our, our stamping groups. The next card comes from Myrtle Thorn. Oh, this is so fun. I made one like this um, last year. I think it must have been one of those 12 Days of Christmas videos. Um, this is called a screen card because it kind of looks like, you know, those room screens. Um, and we use the uh, Label Me Lovely Punch to punch the bottom to create this sort of like the look of legs on the screen. This designer paper, so gorgeous. Now, Myrtle said she was inspired and cased this from Karen Titus. She's got some designer paper circles to stamp on with sayings and included um, a piece for you so you can customize the card. When I created a card like this, I did a number. I did 50 for my um, sister-in-law who was turning 50. So I kind of used some metallic. It reminds me of the one that I made. Such a fun card. So this is called a screen card. And if you are interested in seeing the tutorial that I have for that one, you can check that out in the video description. Myrtle, thank you so much for including those extra littles so we can customize that card. So fun. All right, now we've got our groupings, our family of stampers. First, a new pair of swappers, the um, Newcastle, Indiana sisters. Oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know for sure because you guys didn't include a note, but I'm, I'm guessing that you got together and stamped together and made cards to send in. I think that's so awesome. One of my favorite things about stamping is being able to craft with others. And the next best thing to crafting with others is sharing with others. And that's what we're doing in tonight's video, sharing all these cards. But I would love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know um, when was the last time you got to stamp with somebody in person, whether it was a sister or a friend or a neighbor or just your favorite stamping buddy. Leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, was it today? Was it last week? Was it last month? Um, I, I'm trying to think when... I'm, try, I'm trying to think when I, well, I stamped with mom over the weekend on Zoom, so I guess that counts. Yes, I stamped over the weekend with someone on Saturday. <laughs> All right, let's dig into these cards. This one's from Marita Boone, and we've got a double flap card, kind of a flap flap using the Hues of Happiness designer paper. 
so beautiful i just love that paper and fresh freesia one of my favorite colors and the other Newcastle sister, Nancy Morton, created a, oh, look at that, kind of a tri-shutter card, sort of similar to one that we saw earlier. So pretty with the bright and beautiful designer paper and the um, Hello Friend, uh, no, it was uh, Wonderful World stamp set and designer paper combination. Oh, what? Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, so we got this fun fold here, and then I didn't even realize that this also opens up. Look, she even said open, and apparently I'm blind. I love that it has, like, another spot inside to write a message. Oh, that is so cool. I definitely got to give this one a try. Both these cards are so beautiful, and it makes me so happy that you guys were stamping together. Thank you so much, Newcastle Sister Stampers, for um, sharing your cards with us and sending them in. I hope that you guys enjoy the cards that you get back, and I look forward to seeing more from the Newcastle, Indiana Stamping Sisters. Well, we're going to finish up with our stamping family. Oh, my goodness. They have used the same designer paper this month creating with the one horse open sleigh designer paper let's see um one of them has all the names of course it's going to be the last one <laughs> all right this one is from diane gorski and she's got everybody listed on this one so we're going to start with diane um so donna johnson is diane's sister cara hopefully i'm saying that right is um donna's daughter um Becca Fisher is Diane's daughter, and Carol um, Rossman is the matriarch of the family, and Karen is Diane's sister. Oh, I just love that. And she says, they call their little group Curly Girls and Silly Cara because they all have curly hair except for Cara. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cara. Uh, your cards are all so beautiful using that one horse open sleigh designer paper. This one from Diane is an easel card. I feel like we've talked a lot about easel cards today. We have a little space here that's undimensionals and that will tuck under here. A 2024 calendar to get you rolling into the new year. I love, Diane, that you stamped a few of the little birds on there. And then we've got more one horse open sleigh. This is from Carol Rossman. And this is a center step card. We talked about that too. So this is kind of the easy version of the center step card where this this center piece is a separate piece of cardstock that comes on a little bit of stamping on the inside too and then a space to write your message so fun trucking along bundle to go with that designer paper so perfect uh, next up one from karen snyder and we have a little belly band i love this little protective layer and then kind of that fold back accordion Oh, look at all of this with the stamping on the designer paper to customize it. That is so beautiful. We got the stamped, um, the stamped deer. We've got the snowflake embellishments and stamps. Oh, it's so beautiful. This tissue paper is such a great idea too to protect your card from all the little sticky elements to keep them all from sticking on each other. I love that idea. Great card, Karen. This is beautiful cardstock too. I think I was going to say Lost Lagoon, but that actually looks like just Jade. Our next card is from Becca Fisher, the Joy Fold Fun Fold card. I've been just calling it the Double Flap card. Lemon Lolly is the color. So beautiful. And I love the way it ties in to that sunset or sunrise, rather, in the designer paper. Really beautiful. Next up, we've got one from Kara Johnson. This is, um, what does she say? Oh, she left it blank so you can add your own sentiment. This is that one horse open sleigh designer paper and then another like kind of double flap. So we've got the, uh, the mini card and then the side that folds together. I love how all those papers coordinate and match. What a lovely card, Kara. And finally, we've got one from Donna Johnson and she's created a tunnel card. Mm, oh, she says, oh, I just removed my privacy panel. Okay. <laughs> she cased a card from Jillian Stamps Grassy Grove Fun Fold using the one horse open sleigh and the uh, Magical Meadow stamp set. 
with the coordinating grassy grove dyes. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. This reminds me of my grandmother's paintings. She had a, a house that kind of had a similar roof line and they um, had used to have deer that would come. And one time she painted the house and um, with it with the deer kind of looking and this just reminds me of that so beautiful the colder weather brings us together a brand new one from the winter meadow stamp set coming out in the new mini catalog which is a great time for me to plug <laughs> The new mini catalog product share. I've been a little delayed on getting information out, and so I just want to give a quick plug. I will add the link to the video description tonight when I get it all up and ready. Uh, but we are starting signups for the mini catalog product share designer paper, a yard of each ribbon, um, and that is all the new stuff from the mini catalog. So, all the new papers, all the new ribbons. The mini catalog starts September 6th, but I will be starting product share uh, orders right now now tonight as soon as I get it up so if you're interested in doing that um, I'm really excited because I plan to include a back pocket card layout that is new and exclusive to the product share um, so this is going to be different than the one that I normally include in the bonus project kit um, so you'll definitely want to add that to your collection and then an offer to add on the throughout the year stamp set and save $5. So uh, watch for the sign up. It's coming tonight. I'll share some more information in the next video as well on Thursday. So if you, um, if you miss this notice, I'll have it plastered all over the place, I promise. And I just want to give one last plug here for Vacation Stamping School. This is a demonstrator training event that we have held for 18 years. This is the 18th year, um, our third year online, and I'm so excited about this year's event. It will be virtual on Saturday, September 23rd. If you're a demonstrator, you are invited to join us, um, and you can find out more information at tinyurl.com slash vacation stamping school 2023. The last day to register is this coming Monday, August 28th. So make sure that you um, get registered so you don't miss out on this super fun event. Oh my goodness gracious. We shared a lot of amazing cards and I want to give one last shout out to all of our great big card swap swappers. We shared over 55 cards tonight that were all fun fold and you guys nailed it. You knocked it out of the park. I feel so inspired and I know everyone watching does as well. Thank you so much for sharing your art with us. I'll be sharing all of these cards and sending them back in the mail. Um, probably not until the first week of September um, because I'm headed out for a, the backstage conference that Stampin' Up! is having in Las Vegas. So I'm going to be traveling um, for a few days and I'll be away. But um, I did just mail out part one on Monday. So be sure to check out. That was yesterday. I sent those in the mail yesterday. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Uh, if you sent a card in last time, watch your mailbox. It's on the way back. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed all the cards that we shared tonight, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future card making videos and the great big card swap, which showcases every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. So our next great big card swap showcase will be September 12th and the 26th. And the theme in September is trees. So you can send in your cards now for those video showcases. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Trees can be trees for all seasons. So I can't wait to see what kind of trees you use and how you interpret that theme. If you are um, sending for October, the theme is thank you. Um, Katie, I didn't say how much the product share is. That is one of the details I need to finish wrapping up as soon as I'm done. Um, so watch for that information when it's posted. Thank you guys so much.